welcome back sports gamers this is the natural got a new madden 19 title update for the month of december covers some gameplay franchise and madden ultimate team improvements fixes and additions here let's get right into it quickly uh gonna go through a bunch of it um so let's get right into it. first off starting with a franchise and the one of the biggest ones in this update is they have re-implemented or brought back the franchise player lock camera um, a lot of people will ask for that and and they it went away this year they have brought that back due to community feedback um, and difficulty seeing the back through as a defensive player with the mud squads camera they've reverted back to the old player lock camera that views the field from the defensive perspective for franchise mode and player lock a lot of people have complained about that uh, especially uh, content creators like QJB who use that in their series Anto um, and a lot of people were uh, not happy that went away but now that is back in the game um, also they uh, fixed some issues with save saves crashing and where some players were missing career stats uh, they addressed the issue where the super sim mode could be stuck after a, a CPU player timeout as well as address an issue with mouse selection not functioning throughout the customize your season flow after continue from a play now game so that is it for the franchise updates um and that like i said the one big one was the player lock camera and uh, a lot of times you guys say you know the devs don't listen and stuff like that but it shows they do listen to the community um and you know that's something that i have been pushing for and asking about and a lot of the other uh game changers people in the program are also pushing to bring that back and they have within the game don't ask me why i went away i don't know i think they just try to go and try that that um that mutt camera the mutt squads camera but so i don't know why i went away but it's back now you guys should be happy about that um let's get right into the gameplay changes for playbooks this is a huge one they updated defensive play call ai for cpu control teams so and i was read the dev no ai defensive play calling will now more closely match the tendencies each nfl team has shown over the course of the season at this point that is so huge for anyone who plays the computer or plays in their franchise mode or head to head versus the computer and there's a lot of people out there maybe a lot of people who follow watch the channel they might be more online guys who play head to head or in leagues with other people but for people who play a cpu this is huge they will actually make correct defensive calls based upon their actual tendencies of how they call in real life so for instance if a team like seattle is heavy cover three and cover one man in the game now they will call the game as heavy cover three heavy uh cover one man like all the teams that call you know how they call in real life is how they actually will call in the game now this is one thing i think a lot of people are are you know probably going to overlook and not realize how dope this is but this is a great addition going forward for all madden just playing more realistic is having the teams and the ai call the games how they actually do in real life so they actually went and charted how each team calls let's say uh for instance um let's say a team that that blitzes a ton you know or uh you know they're actually gonna blitz now with this update they're gonna blitz a ton in the game this is a re really really good update seeing this and i would love to see this from the offensive side as well they just keep going forward where the real play calls on offense and defense will be just like how they do in real life so really great addition there i hope it doesn't get overlooked but it probably will uh, address the issue causing defenders to sometimes line up offsides or no huddle offense. I got hit with this recently uh, in a game. Had that game I played. Guy got a first down off that doing hurry up and jumped off sides. So I'm glad, glad they fixed that one quickly. Increased fumble chance. Uh, some tuning. They increase the fumble chance when getting hit with a hit stick during a steerable spin or a carrier move. This applies to all game styles, difficulty levels, and fix the issue call, uh, causing a fumble. When the quarterback will break a sack during the throw animation, the ball will now be released, result in complete pass. The one with the uh, steerable spin, they still didn't tone down the spin, but at least now, they, they, you know, it's some payment for. So you just do a steerable spin and get popped. A uh, higher chance of that ball coming out. For special teams, uh, they added logic to ice the kicker. So now when the kicker is iced by the opponent, the ice state will remain for the remainder of the drive. So a lot of people were, you know, uh, calling timeout or calling another play and then and then trying to kick it to get away from ice the kicker. But now once you ice the kicker, it'll stay there for the whole time uh, for that. 
They added logic for field goal blocks to prevent players from spamming offline mechanic on R2 right trigger to make it get a perfect jump on the, the stat snap. Now I'm uh, mistiming the button press result in an early jump animation uh, so it can be offside or something or in a stamina penalty to that player and possibly an offside penalty. This new logic applies to all game styles and difficulty levels. Uh, some a uh, bunch of changes here for the for the pass coverage, fixing an issue with cover three match where the outside third defender didn't always convert to man coverage in certain vertical routes, uh, adding logic for cover three match to prevent the hook curl defender from converting the man coverage on receivers running short crossing routes, added logic for cover three match for the seam flat defender to search for and quickly match routes going to the flats uh, and hook curl defender of always matching. Uh, and they added logic for the seam flat defender cover three to, to match the wheel. And that, that's a real good one there uh, because they would a lot of times just, just leave the, the wheel wide open uh, because they would just run past the, the, the guy. Even though he had no one there to cover, he would just sit in that spot and the wheel route would just run right past him and get a big gain. So this is a really good one. I'm sure we've all been hit with the running back wheel uh, this year. Two cover three match to speed up the reaction of the hook curl defender when the number three receiver to his side runs around to the flat underneath and two vertical ones. I'll have to take a look at that one. Fix the issue and cover four quarters to properly cover the inside most receiver versus Hail Mary trio. So now that will work properly as well. And they had a blocking update where they addressed the issue that would sometimes cause an RB, a hot router to pass block on a play action plays to run past the line of scrimmage before entering the block assignment. The I have seen this one myself and that's pretty annoying when you see have a running back doing something crazy, running into the line and, or not blocking properly. Uh, so that this is a really good update uh, that was included for that. We all want, no, no one, there's nothing worse seeing a running back just do some crazy stuff and you get sacked for it. Uh, a fix a incorrect button prompt for the open field celebration mechanic and skills trainer. And they have a month update as well, which is a big one. Added the ability to play squads versus friends. Squads play a friend is a new tile in the squads hub. You can first choose if you want to play in a two versus two or a three versus three game. A team of two cannot match against a team of three. Once you select the event, the party leader will be prompted in their password when ready, uh, when ready up, coordinate with your opponents and have them use the same password. Once you begin matchmaking, you only match against another team using the same password so you can play squads versus your friend. So not, not a ton of updates in this one, but uh, I think a lot of really good updates. Um, the squads one is a good one. People wanting to play squads versus their friends. Um, of course, the, you know, the past coverage ones, that's just a continuation of improving the zones in the game. The ice kicker one was just a freaking nagging thing where people just kind of kind of beating the system cheating the system getting in that but i think the biggest one really is with the defensive ai play calling this is like i said a lot of channels will maybe focus on other things like the gameplay or maybe the month but for me you know this is a huge one because it sets the tone for the future they this is in the game now where they'll actually call the plays realistically how they do it nfl now if we can get coach tendency like this is like i like this is like a step step one and maybe a lot of people aren't seeing you know 10 steps down the road 10 steps down the road is having coaches coach realistically call the play having offensive defensive coordinators that call to their real life counterparts when you have a real life coach that will call the defense way he calls in real life a real life coach that'll call the offense you know, coaches will be more aggressive versus less aggressive coaches. Some coaches will most of the time call for the field goal. Some coaches, you know, will be more aggressive, you know, like, a, you know, a Sean Payton, someone like that, who's going to go for it on fourth and three, you know, if they, you know, because they just are a more aggressive coach. Like those tendencies and using that AI, AI to me is a, is a core of a lot of Madden's issues and seeing them update that. Uh, I think that's a big step in the right direction because I think AI is one way the game will improve tremendously. Animations and AI, right now, the, I think everyone's happy with the graphics with Madden, pretty much. Most people don't have a lot of complaints with that. It's really the uh, animations people have a lot of problems with, and a lot of that is tied to the AI. Um, and I think uh, once those two things improve, it'll be some uh, major steps for the game. So, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, uh, the video um, and get out there, download the update. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, be sure and make sure you like, subscribe, turn the notifications on so you don't miss more Madden content here at SGO. Mr. Natural, I'm out.
they run up on My n- they run up on I get ten brother with doogas and tools. I put a dozen on them on your head on. They pull up with lead on. They pull up with bread on. Go suicide and then ain't joking like boom. Watch our lead on. I be pulling the gas. I to be counting the bread.